दोस्तों गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून वेयर एवर यू आर आपका दोस्त राकेश मिश्रा ऑल द वे फ्रॉम टोरंटो कैनेडा बहुत दिन से सोच रहा था कि ऑडियो लाइव की जाए फेसबुक में उसका फायदा यह है कि जिस वक्त जहां भी चाहें हम वहां से ये लाइव कर सकते हैं ना कोई कैमरा ना कोई लाइट ना कोई गेटअप ना कोई सेटअप ना कोई मेकअप और आप श्रोताओं के लिए भी जहां से चाहें आप सुन सकते हैं हमेशा आज सत्रह साल हो गए कनाडा में रहते हुए बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं वो हिंदुस्तान याद आता है वो कॉलेज के दिन जिंदगी जैसे जैसे बढ़ती जाती है कभी जब अकेला होता हूं और अपनी पुरानी यादों में उलझ जाने का दिल करता है तो आज सोचा चलिए कुछ क्यों ना शेयर किया जाए तो दोस्तों सबसे पहले तो हमेशा मैं वीडियो में होता हूं और इंग्लिश में बोलता हूं लेकिन पता नहीं कुछ बड़ा अधूरा सा प, अधूरापन सा लगता है लेकिन जब हिंदी में बोलता हूं तो ऐसा लगता है कि बड़ा अपनापन लगता है अपने शब्दों में और अपने बोलने में तो मैं आपके कमेंट्स में ये चाहूंगा कि क्या आपको पसंद है कि मैं हिंदी में एक दिन केवल मंडे को बोलूं आपसे बात करूं आपसे और आप बताएं कि किस चीज पर बात करूं और आपसे भी मैं कुछ दोस्तों को पिक करूंगा और उन, उनके साथ मैं लाइव वार्तालाप करूंगा लेकिन आप बताएं कि किस टॉपिक में मैं बात करूं कुछ आप जानना चाहते होंगे इस दुनिया के बारे में जिसको हम एन दुनिया कहते हैं हम देश छोड़ चुके होते हैं अपनी मजबूरियों के लिए ज्यादा पैसे के लिए अच्छी जिंदगी के लिए लेकिन होता यह है कि हम बहुत कुछ यहां पाते हैं फॉर श्योर बट बहुत कुछ खोते भी हैं तो दोस्तों आप हिंदुस्तान में हो या आप जिस भी मुल्क में हो बेसिकली मैं हिंदुस्तान से हूं तो इंडिया की ही बात करूंगा कभी कभी लगता है कि अरे मैं इंडिया में हूं चलिए विदेशों में जाया जाए दूसरी जगह जाया जाए अमेरिका जाया जाए कनाडा जाया जाए यूरोप जाया जाए वहां पे सेटल हुआ जाए तो बहुत सारे पेन भी होते हैं यहाँ के अब बहुत सारी अच्छाइयां भी होती हैं एक यही दर्द है जो मुझे हर साल हिंदुस्तान खींच लाता है कोशिश करता हूं कि मैं हर साल जाऊं शायद आप लोगों को मालूम नहीं होगा लेकिन मैं मेरा एक ही मकसद होता है हिंदुस्तान मम्मी पापा से मिलना अब तो मम्मी नहीं रही फैमिली से मिलना दोस्तों से मिलना थोड़े दिन एक दो दिन में चार दिन में वो ठीक हो जाता है लेकिन फिर लगता है कि मकसद क्या है खाली खाना पीना घूमना दोस्तों से मिलना कि और कुछ तो पिछले पांच सात सालों से मैं जाता हूं वहां पे कॉलेजेस में रायबरेली में इलाहाबाद में लखनऊ में दिल्ली में जहां भी जा सकता हूं दोस्तों से कॉलेजेस में जाता हूं उनसे अपने छोटे भाइयों से दोस्तों से शेयर करता हूं कि जिंदगी में पैसा कमाना ही सब कुछ नहीं है और बहुत सारी चीजें हैं बड़ा अच्छा लगता है जब हमारे छोटे भाई बहन आते हैं बोलते हैं भैया मुझे आप जैसा बनना है मैं पूछता हूं आप जैसा बनना है क्या मुझे नहीं मुझे बाहर जाना है खूब पैसा कमाना है क्यों तब उनसे एकांत में खड़े होकर बातें करने लगता हूं तो पांच छह स्टेप के बाद वो रुक जाते हैं और बोलते हैं भैया मुझे खुद ही नहीं मालूम आगे मम्मी पापा ने बोला है खूब अच्छी नौकरी करो खूब पैसा कमाओ और जिंदगी इंजॉय करो तो होता क्या है कि सर हम अपने लिए अपने लिए अपने लिए लेकिन मजा तो ये आता है कि अपने लिए करो लेकिन साथ में कुछ दूसरों के लिए भी और दूसरों के लिए करने के लिए आपको पैसा पैसा ही से आप हेल्प नहीं कर सकते हैं किसी को केवल एक अच्छी सलाह दे सकते हैं और उससे उसकी हेल्प हो सकती है पिछले पांच छह महीने से एक साल से जब से ये फेसबुक लाइव और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म पे शेयर करना शुरू किया आप यकीन नहीं करेंगे कोई भी ऐसी शाम नहीं होती आपको एक दो को छोड़ के कि जब तक मैं दो तीन 
अपने इंडियन दोस्तों से छोटे भाई बहनों से मोस्टली उन्हीं की कॉल्स होती हैं वो मुझसे बात करना चाहते हैं सजेशन लेना चाहते हैं सलाह लेना चाहते हैं कि भैया आगे क्या करूं बहुत सारे उसमें इंजीनियर्स होते हैं बोलते हैं भैया यहाँ पे दस हजार रुपये की जॉब मिलना मुश्किल है क्या करें तो होता ये है कि हिंदुस्तान इतनी बड़ी कंट्री है और आप जो कुछ भी करना चाहो वो वहां पर कर सकते हो बहुत लोग बोलते हैं लेकिन करना इतना आसान नहीं होता लेकिन क्या होता है कि आप परेशान इसलिए होते हो कि अपने से सीनियर्स को और लोगों को देखते हो अरे वो इतना कर लिए उतना जल्दी कर लियो आप उसकी छटपटाहट में आपको क्या होता है कि आप अपने आप को भूल जाते हो कि आप क्या करना चाहते हो क्या इतनी सारी स्कीम्स हैं आजकल हिंदुस्तान के अंदर इतने सारे लोग हैं इतनी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं तो मेरी एक ही सलाह है अपने छोटे भाइयों को अपने दोस्तों को बड़े भाइयों को किसी के लिए कि अगर एक ही चीज आप लर्न कर सकते हो और वो है कि बिकम अ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर कि ये पता करो कि सबसे बड़ी पेन क्या है जिसको कि तुम सॉल्व कर सकते हो और वो भी अगर समझ में ना आए तो आप अपनी पेन पता करो कि तुम्हारी पेन क्या है और कैसे तुमने सॉल्व की और अगर अभी भी वो पेन सॉल्व नहीं हो पाई तो लोगों से पूछो मुझसे पूछो मुझसे जुड़ो बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम मैंने सॉल्व की है लोगों की होता क्या है कि जैसे इंग्लिश में बोलते हैं ना कि वंस यू आर इन द फ्रेम यू कैनॉट सी योर सेल्फ तो कभी कभी जब आपकी अपनी जो प्रॉब्लम होती है उसका सोल्यूशन बिल्कुल आपके पास होता है लेकिन आप अपने आप में इतने परेशान हो चुके होते हो कि एकदम सोल्यूशन पास में होते हुए भी आपको नहीं दिखता है लेकिन जब आप किसी अपने बड़े से किसी अपने दोस्त से वो चीजें शेयर करते हो तो वो आपको बताता है उसको भी अच्छा लगता है तो आप किसी की हेल्प करके तो देखें इसी तरीके से आप औरों से पूछेंगे अपनी प्रॉब्लम के सोल्यूशन के बारे में और लोग आपसे पूछेंगे इसी तरह से आप हेल्प करते चले हेल्प करते चले फिर आपको पता लग जाएगा कि एक पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम के आप एक्सपर्ट हो गए हो और उसी प्रॉब्लम का सलूशन देते देते वही आपका कैरियर बन सकता है और आज की डेट पे दोस्तों साढ़े सात से आठ अरब की पॉपुलेशन है पूरी दुनिया की इतनी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं और उन तक पहुंचने के लिए देखिए मैं आपसे ऑडियो में बात कर रहा हूँ टोरंटो में अपनी यहाँ पे फॉग है आज और ठंडी भी है और इधर मैं अपनी विंडो पे खड़ा हूँ पीछे और देख रहा हूँ अपना सेल फोन ले और आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ दुनिया से कहाँ कहाँ से लोग इस समय सुन रहे हैं एंड आई एम सो सॉरी आई एम सीइंग सो मेनी नेम्स माय अमेरिकन फ्रेंड्स माई कैनेडियन फ्रेंड्स आई एम सो सॉरी बिकॉज आई एम स्पीकिंग इन माई नेटिव लैंग्वेज मोस्टली इन हिंदी तो स्लोली वॉट आई विल डू आई क्रिएट अ सेपरेट ग्रुप फॉर द फॉर अवर फ्रेंड हु कैन अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी एंड उनसे मैं डेली कनेक्ट होना चाहता हूँ और बात करना चाहता हूँ तो दोस्तों जस्ट राइट टू मी इन द कमेंट एरिया दैट विच पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद सो टूडे आई हैव स्पोकन एन एफ इन हिंदी बिकॉज इज ऑल माई मिक आई एम जस्ट यू नो डूइंग दिस लाइफ टू ऑल माई you know almost uh, 3500 friends on my facebook so now for some time i'm going to talk only english today and slowly slowly i will form a group where i'll be speaking only in hindi <laughs> so now onward today some few minutes i would like to discuss some teachings from one great book which i found i think couple of years ago that changed my life so what happens in everybody's life worries we always worry one thing after other so this book helped me a lot and the title of this book dosto is called four laws of agreements 
and i don't remember right now the you know uh, i think meguiar some 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 something you know the author name so these four laws of agreement are such a beautiful laws and i am going to discuss those four laws and listen very very carefully these laws will help you a lot worries everywhere you are in india you are in canada anywhere as long as you are breathing worries are going to be with you so let's start with those four laws of agreement the first law says be impeccable with your words what does it mean be impeccable means whenever you are speaking out any word from your mouth be careful what you are saying and to whom you are saying you remember so many stories or even yourself you might have experienced those early days you wanted to sing and you started singing and someone said hey don't sing you have very bad voice or anything for that matter you took some initiative and someone really put you down and you develop that scare that you are not adequate enough for that particular art or skill and you stop doing and in life you always afraid to repeat again so that is the power of words so always try to encourage people in your vocabulary all those encouraging words for your friends for your family member for anybody that matter word has a power sometimes you are at workplace and your boss comes and say hey thank you man you did a fantastic job just few words he said and you got totally pumped up for whole day so this is the power of the word ladies and gentlemen when i say help others helping with the money helping with the materialistic things that is not the only way you can help just say these few good words to someone just ask someone Hey man how are you Try to meet one stranger every day on your train on uh, in your uh, you know so, some shopping uh, complex just talk to someone of course you have to you know use proper precaution that you know little uh, you know and just common sense apply and just see someone you know somebody sometime you find sitting in the bench and very deep in thinking miss most of chances are there he or she is trying to worry about something just hey ask excuse me sir how are you feeling is everything is okay can i help in any way just ask and share few moments with them and the way you get response in return you will feel happy on that day because you made little difference in someone's life yeah so just ask a boy a girl old uh, and you know doesn't matter in india things are a bit different because there is so much of social and networking and people are you know talking to each other and so much of time they spend to find out about each other gossiping and talking so one way that is the best way to stay away from depression but especially in north america place like canada and us with the cold weather especially canada many people they like they are depressed and you know what is the main cause of depression there is nobody to talk to them yeah so just talk if you cannot talk in person just go on facebook live like this or through the video or through just normally the text interact with the someone your little interaction few word interaction can change somebody's world ladies and gentlemen so that is the power of giving sometime when we think about giving it's only about the money or materialistic things no just your few words text to someone few words to talk to someone that might change the life sometimes you know you read some quote on some social media and that quote expression just changes you give you positivity yeah so try
Try to stay little off from the social media, from the virtual world and go into the real world. Meet real people. Interact with real people. They need you. They need you. You have 24 hours. Can you spare 24 seconds for someone? That person can be your family member. Within the family member, I know. Husband and wife, they don't talk for a long time, sometime in a whole day. It takes little. Just tap someone's shoulder. Hey, how are you? I really care for you. Yeah, it's a powerful. Yeah, so I think I bragged a bit more. I don't know because I cannot see your face or expression, just audio. So how upset you are or how you're liking me. But I would love to see your comments, how you are feeling. Should I continue these audio things? And if yes, I'll be really encouraged how you feel. Or get me the topic you want me to discuss. Okay. So that was the first law of agreement. Be impeccable with your words, whatever you speak out to others. The second law. The second law of agreements uh, says out of those four is that I'm not going in the, in the sequence. So the second will say that don't make assumptions. Yeah, don't make assumptions. One of the reasons for our worries is assumptions. We assume, we assume that, hey, someone, our age group got some kind of particular disease. Now I might get it and you make your life miserable. So don't assume. Don't assume that somebody has got the trouble, somebody got divorced or somebody lost something or somebody has going through the bad time and it might come to you. No. Don't think in that way. Even if it comes, you will handle it. And the best proof to handle any problem, just see your past. Past always not bad. As long as teaching you something uh, to make you more stronger, to take a better decision. See your past, how many problems you faced and you were able to overcome and you will able to overcome in future as well. So nothing to worry much about it, ladies and gentlemen. So don't assume, don't assume that someone is talking something bad about their life, though, though those are the real facts, but don't make those things part of your life. No, not really. Yeah, so don't make those assumptions, those make those assumptions that those things are going to come to in your life. As people say, we worry a lot about things and it's a proven that 97% those worries will never come to pass. But the time you spend uh, worrying about those things, this time will also never come back. So I learned from my own life, the best use of procrastination is to procrastinate your worries. Procrastinate, procrastinate your worries till they appear. And as I said before, 97% of your worries will never going to appear. It means you enjoyed your life. So if you want to take one lesson today, just procrastinate your worries, ladies and gentlemen. You know, 97% they are not going to pass anyway. But if you are not going to procrastinate them, you will end up living whole life with the worries and you'll be killing your happiness and the, those pleasure moments. Yeah, so that is a big disadvantage, worrying about the things and you know 90% will never pass. And 3% which you are going to pass, you are going to handle anyway because you become so strong living worryless life. Yeah, so assumptions add so many worries in your life. So don't assume. Yeah, so don't assume. That is the second law of agreement. It will save a lot of your worries from your life. So the first one was be impeccable with your words. Second, don't make assumptions. And the third is that, that the third one is, I'm memorizing. Yeah, so I got it. The so third one is 
that 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 the okay, hold on hold on so the so first one be impeccable with your word and second one mm, 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 that don't make assumptions and uh, third one yeah so third one is very very important don't take things personally yeah sometime what had happened you go to the meeting and the boss said something and you you just internalize so deeply that oh he meant about me and you took personally yeah or some or, or, or even at some friend's place someone said something and you took personally no it was about me and taking so personally that you spoil your day not only day sometimes the people they spoil their whole life is to thinking about oh that particular person or that particular relative he or she said about me but you know what sometime after 5 or 10 years you found out it was not about you it was meant to somebody else and even if it meant to you try to improve upon you know sometimes those critics the people who tell you that real bad thing about you the things which are not good and they really tell you the fact they are trying to help you innovate know, improve but with immediate effect sometime not sometime most of time we take things personally we take so personally oh it was only about me no most of the time most of the time things are said like in generic way that who may it belongs to but what you did something was already running in your mind and if that particular expression said from someone and has a little resemblance with your thought already running inside you you totally connect oh it was about me and you spoil uh, your day and sometimes weeks and week you thinking about that hey it was about me that particular things been said so don't take things personally ladies and gentlemen most of the time people are trying to say those things either in common to everybody very generic way or even if they are trying to a pinpoint to you basically they are trying hey if you can improve upon that ladies and gentlemen that will help you and the last law of agreement is a very simple but very a very impactful and very very effective in your life ladies and ladies and gentlemen and the last law is no matter how bad situation is just do your best yeah we are a human being we are not super power and in this world rich has his own problem poor has his own problem everybody has a problem ladies and gentlemen if you are very rich then you start buying your problem from your own money such an unfortunate isn't it so no matter how bad the situation is just do your best and believe me that shall past to no matter how struggling you are there is a brighter day yeah as i always say that failures any failure you faced that failure always going to give some lesson always going to give you some confidence but ladies and gentlemen we always strive for success but the most of the successes are going to make you more insecure hey i succeeded this what is next either that happens or oh my god i have everything what happen if tomorrow it gone yeah so success always add insecurity in you but failure always add confidence in you so ladies and gentlemen i am going on and on on and on and hopefully i was thinking that every monday i will come a facebook live only on audio but it all going to depend upon you know based on your response if you like to listen to me and as i said please uh, guide me through with the topic you want me to discuss on it i know everybody is busy and i am not the champion i am not the master i don't know everything but once you give me the topic i love 
researching. I love reading. So I will read, I will find the subject about it and then I am going to talk about it. And then this audio I will transcribe to the text and I will put as a text for the people who would like to read. And probably on the same topic I may create a video people who would like to watch. So ladies and gentlemen, as you know that I am in helping mode. And around two years back, you know, basically in a way, kind of, you know, economic loss, you know, <laughs> that uh, the financial retirement I achieved. So now I spend a lot of time guiding people, helping people, because as someone said so beautifully, once you leave this world, you know what you carry with you? The thing you leave behind. And this is what I am leaving behind. You know, these, my, uh, you know, little help, little talks. Yeah. So please write to me if you like anything on this video today. And, you know, on, based on that, I'm going to the, pick the topic and going to continue with this. Maybe daily, few minutes or maybe only Monday. We will see. It still is quite a uncertain and casual way. But today I just thought of just jumping into it. And to tell you the truth, where the idea came, you might be laughing because you might be knowing this. I didn't know that there is a Facebook live option. So today what has happened is Watsala Pandeji, uh, Watsala you know, I think somewhere is from, uh, you know, Meerut, Saranpur, that area. And I, I just listened to her. I said, what? She's what she's doing. This is just audio. Is it possible? And then I l did a little search. So if you go to your mobile, the, I'm talking about the people who are not aware about it. Just go to mobile. The same way you go, uh, you know, the way you do this Facebook live. So and then you see like a couple of dots and, you know, just click those, uh, you know, type on those dots and it will see, uh, you know, audio live. So if you are having a difficulty, please reach out to me. I can help you out. So that's what's little very here and there way not in very organized way audio today but i love today that i that i spoke with you guys on facebook live using audio so again so today we discuss four laws of agreement i will sum up them and please do apply in your life so the first one be impeccable with your words especially when you are a bit upset when you are a bit angry try to leave that place where you are surrounded by people who are troubling you try to leave that place or maybe you know just count one to ten as they say and then speak out means try to procrastinate a bit and then you respond either it's a verbal way yeah then the law basically said for the verbal way but that is also applied even in the office environment that you got some very upsetting email and immediately you respond it so sometimes it spoils the environment so try to wait if you got that email which really um, upsets you but if not if the reply is not very urgent just wait if you got the email in the morning apply in the afternoon reply in the afternoon and you'll be in much much better mood and better shape and response will be much much you know in your favor and the person is going to receive as well yeah so the first law was be impeccable with your word. Second one is that don't make assumptions. Don't assume things like something bad happened to somebody. And since you are also in the same age group or same country or same city, that might happen to you as well. No, not necessarily. So don't make assumption. And the third thing is a very, very disturbing things. And that is killing so, so many, uh, you know, the creative ideas and disturbing and upsetting people's life. And that is don't take things personally please do not take things personally that is that is very very ruining uh, to our life and the last one no matter how bad situation is in your life that is not going to continue life long is temporary so just whatever the means you have just do your best to face uh, that particular issue problem and life will be okay tomorrow yeah so these four agreements and one thing which I added that try to procrastinate your worries as research says that what were the worries we always running through our head seven ninety seven percent they will never come to pass just only three percent and those three percent also you will able to face it because those three percent there are few things. You know, no matter which problem you have, ladies and gentlemen, there are only two ways. Either you can do something about that problem or you cannot do something about your problem. So if you cannot do anything, then why to worry? 
So those three percent also, maybe fifty percent, you will go into those categories that you cannot do anything. Then no need to worry about that. Some people they worry, hey, I might be killed on the road. Somebody might hit me. So you have a control to do a good driving, but you do not have a control. Other drivers they might be drunk. So you know, leave something on superpower. Leave something on that creator, and leave something on that nature who have given you, who have brought you on this world. All so we'll take care of you so with that ladies and gentlemen you cannot see me i cannot see you but this is the virtual and really i'm making a salute here from my kids bedroom now i move this side and before i was in the window side and from there i'm saluting you and thank you very much for listening me if i went little out of the track please forgive me please excuse me but because whenever i get on audio or video with you i get fully excited that is my life that what i love yeah so please do write to me the topic you want me to include in my you know future audio sessions or what you like what you didn't like so again dosto aapka friend rakesh mishra nri rakesh mishra from all the way toronto बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत खुशी भी एक दो मैंने कमेंट देखे उसमें मात्र अल्पेश काकू जी बोलते हैं मात्र भाषा में बात करने में अपनापन लगता है अरे वसला पांडे जी भी सुन रही थी वसला पांडे जी थैंक यू वेरी मच इट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ यू यू मेड मी टू कम ऑन दिस फेसबुक आडियो लाइव बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया वसला जी यू आर इंस्परेशन ट्रू इंस्परेशन टू दिस वर्ल्ड द काइंड ऑफ द वर्क यू आर डूइंग the kind of the connectivity you are bringing the kind of you know that inspiration and motivation and creativity and productivity you are bringing to the society i salute you vatsala ji and hopefully one day to meet you in india or wherever it is so this is the what when you do some creative work see i'm sitting here in canada and i didn't and i'm i find myself very very active on social media technology wise the content wise but i didn't know that there is a facebook live audio version exists and you made me uh, to basically learn that and i used it today maybe overuse it so thank you very much and all the friends let's see some of the uh, friends i am seeing here let me give a quick shout out here and sudhakar singh ji thank you very much and ram uh, kishan divakar ji thank you very much and vasala ji aapne to mujhe ek rasta dikhaya audio ke through and raza randhava ji thank you very much didar singh kalsi thanks a lot and asis lalan bahut bahut shukriya aur hamare sale sahab hain और सनी मिश्रा जी एंड अतुल कुमार जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स लिसनिंग टू मी एंड आई विल कंटिन्यू होपफुली कपल ऑफ मंडे एंड सी हाउ द इंटरेस्ट इज एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई विल कंटिन्यू माय दिस ऑडियो यू नो वॉइस फ्रॉम टोरंटो सो योर फ्रेंड राकेश फ्रॉम टोरंटो ऑन ऑडियो फेसबुक लाइव सो अगेन whenever i come live i don't feel to leave but i have to so thank you very much and i have a wonderful day and try to meet i always encourage me to one stranger me to one person you never met just go and walk and find someone and say few word and if you really find the person is nice maybe just offer a tea a coffee or lunch a dinner you know it all depends and you know you might find some friend you know which you have never find such close friend world is beautiful believe me and world have so much of pain and so much of uncertainty you might become a helping hand to someone just by asking how are you yeah how can i help you these few words can change someone's life yeah see i go in very emotional in you know, a roller coaster uh, sometime when i see people when i see the pain actual all those pains can be avoided as i say in one most of my speeches that as long as you are breathing it's not done yet and once you stop breathing who cares ladies and gentlemen so as long as breathing there are a lot of possibilities lot of things might happen and all going to be in your favor 
mostly so if you can give something just give a helping hand to one strangers every day 365 stranger you will meet in one year you don't know whom you are meeting whom life you are changing or who is going to change in turn your life the only thing ladies and gentlemen whenever you are giving something try not to expect anything from anybody because you are in the revolution of giving be go giver and you will see how your life unfolded in a very very positive way and today is never been the better time as today if you want to give something this social media this internet this technology all have supported us given an avenue given a platform to create any change to transfer any knowledge to help in any way possible you can do it so with that thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day live your life and let help others to live their beautiful life your friend signing off this audio from Toronto Canada hoping to interact with you next week Monday again love you all bye bye